so hey guys welcome to the new video today in this video we are going to see that how can you scrape data of a website using beautiful soup library which is a python based library used for web scraping so firstly what we have to do is we have to move in our vs code and we have to create a file named as scraper.py or you can uh, like have any other name this is uh, totally your choice so we will be needing two modules here one is uh, you can say request pip install just type this command here pip install request requests and then beautiful soup 4 these two modules will be required Let's wait for a few seconds. Since I have already installed this, so this is showing requirement already satisfied. Now what you have to do is just simply close this terminal. Go here in this file and type pip or oh sorry import requests. Not pip. Import requests. Then from beautiful uh, BS4 that is beautiful soup 4. Import beautiful soup. Okay, and then what you have to do is you have to give the URL of the website from which you want to scrape the data like this is the one example.com but we will change this website uh, within a few seconds so okay then what you have to do is you have to get the response from this particular URL for that you have to assign a response variable which will use this requests module to get the data from the URL okay then what you have to do is you have to create a soup object which will be using this uh, this class from the bs4 module okay since we are parsing html page that's why we are using html parser then what you have to do is now uh, we will do one thing we will use this website just a second guys we will use quotes uh, quotes dot to scrap scrape let me show you this website okay yeah uh, you just have to type you just have to go with quotes to scrape dot com this is an open source web website used for you can say this is generally used for scraping just like testing your scrape, scraping programs or anything else you can say ok then go here and now I will create a variable named as quotes which will contain all the data from this yes we will do this this will use uh, this, this particular object and then this will find all the divs you can see this example where class is quote ok let's go in this and check its html ok so this is a quote this must contain a class you can see this class this uh, here class is quote so we will be using class quote and this is a div you can see this div with class quote Now what you have to do is, we will just simply traverse each and every quote since it is a list of quotes uh, got using you can say uh, HTML, HTML parsing. Ok so yes we will go with this command for quote in quotes. We have to get the author and the text that will be enough for us. We can just remove this tags one okay so what we have to do is uh, let me tell you what this is actually doing this is a text variable used for a particular quote like this is a particular quote I will be using a text variable to fetch this text okay and then text author and then I will just remove this okay so now what you have to do is 
uh, firstly you have to get the text that is a uh, class text you can see this this will be a class text let's go and check this you can see this here we are using a uh, text class so this will fetch text class and then store it in this particular variable and or this will also do the same for author class so this is our basic program for uh, fetching you can say codes using beautiful soup library okay let's uh, run this program this will take some seconds to fetch data you can see this this is the code and this is the author name so in this video you have seen that how can you fetch data of a particular website using beautiful soup library so yeah guys that's all for this video now let's see you next time